We are here at Wembley Stadium for the NFL London Games between Jacksonville Jaguars and the Atlanta Falcons. But what does $250 get you here at Wembley Stadium? The NFL is back in London as the Jacksonville Jaguars take on the Atlanta Falcons. Trevor Lawrence leads his team out for the third time in London and are looking to bounce back after a humiliating defeat last week to the Houston Texans. The Falcons were handed their first loss by the Detroit Lions last week and are looking to win in London again as they beat the Jets at Tottenham two years ago. I'm so excited that the NFL is back in London. Time to head down to enjoy our experience at Wembley Stadium and see what $250 gets you at the NFL London Games. But before we go, we're going to be setting a challenge and we have got to see every single franchise memorabilia or merchandise on display somewhere whether that's a fan wearing a top or a souvenir in the shop anything like that we're going to try and tick off all 32 teams and see if we can complete the nfl london challenge so let's get to wembley We just arrived here at the NFL London and here is the queue for merchandise. It comes out of the section and it goes all the way down through the cattle pen down there, all the way just for the shop. That is absolutely mental. That's the rest of the queue, just for merchandise. That'll take you like two hours to get to the front and the game starts in an hour. Well, we've made it into Wembley for the NFL London experience. Now, obviously the seat was about $230, $240. So we spent our remaining $10 on beer. And of course, now Wembley has an M&S in level two. So of course we've got to get the Percy Pigs. So as I munch my Percy Pig here in level two, I've actually got one in my mouth, probably should finish that, but oh well. With a challenge, we are at 31 out of 32. The only team that we've not seen is the Arizona Cardinals. Now I've got a jumper at the Cardinals at home, but that doesn't count. We've got to see somebody here today. We managed to see the notorious Cleveland Browns. I'll show the footage right here, right now. So we've seen them on Wembley Way. Managed to get some footage of them because I didn't see any Browns last year here at the NFL. So just the Cardinals to go, and then the challenge is complete. We found a Cardinals top. We got Baker, hooray! We have completed the 32 NFL challenge, and we're heading in now to the stadium to see what our $250 seats. Well, let's see what they're like. Oh my God, the mascots on the roof. Oh my god. Oh my god! Woo! He's holding a camera as well for the content. He is the most craziest guy ever. I mean, I want to do it. Me next year, please. Well, we are here. We're in our $250 seats. Let's take a look at the view. We are literally right on the 40 yard line, right central view of everything. And we just got the Royal Box just over there. Now come the Atlanta Falcons. Here they come. The opponents for today, the first team that I've ever seen win an NFL game live. And here they come, the Jacksonville Jaguars! It's a chain strip, but they are ready! It's going to be one hell of a game, and one hell of a Wembley welcome for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Here it comes, number 16 for River Lawrence takes the field. National Anthem Store, it's time for NFL London. Jacksonville Jaguars take on Atlanta Falcons. Let's have a good game. On the whole of Wembley, waves the Jaguars flags as we're about to kick off for the 10th year of NFL London Games. Here we go. Falcons kick off. And we are off and underway. It's going to be a touchback to start off. Third down and two for the Jaguars on first drive. Lawrence goes out and he's 
he's gonna get it. Jack's up the first. Well, the Jags don't look good on offense on drive one. Six plays, and the ball's already back at the Atlanta Falcons. But it's a good punt return uh, on the 10 yard line for the Falcons. Really good for the Jags to be fair, but they need a free and out here. Get the ball back as quick as possible. The Falcons, they need to start making some plays. And the first time on offense, so let's see what they can do. Big third down for the Falcons. They're throwing it, and it goes right. Completed pass. I think it's short, I think it's short. Just short, about an inch short, that is tight. That's really good play for the Falcons though. And the Jags on second play, Lawrence. And he's got space, he's got space, he's got space. He's still going, it's a massive game for Trevor Lawrence. That's fantastic. So good, brilliant. Well, it's four and one on the same drive for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Do they go for it? They're at the 40 yarder. It's a bit of a long field goal attempt. The crowd want to see them go for it. Let's see what they do. I think they're going for it here. Up and one, they're going for it. It's back to Lawrence who throws and completes. That's brilliant. Second and 13 for the Jacksonville Jaguars here. It's Lawrence. Gets away from one. Throws. End zone open. Touchdown! Touchdown, Jaguars! Extra points and it's straight through the sticks and it's good for 7 nothing. It's brilliant for the Jacksonville Jaguars and it's Calvin Ridley and Trevor Lawrence gets away from one, he throws it to the end zone and Calvin Ridley's there and it's a touchdown for the Jags. Brilliant connection between Ridley and between Lawrence, that is world class, world class American football from the Jacksonville Jaguars. I was going to say football though but I am British, I've got to remain that football is football. Field attempt, oh and it's through and it's good. It's 10-0 to the Jags. Field goal, 68 yards. 10-0 to the Jacksonville Jaguars now. Brilliant 56-yard field goal. They're taking command of this game. The Falcons need something and probably need something on this drive. Big third down for the Atlanta Falcons on the 45-yard line. Here we go. I think they're going to throw it here. And they are doing. How long are they going? He's swallowed! Oh, wow, brilliant! But Atlanta are challenging a call that only went to complete for six yards. It was caught, it was a Lawrence pass, it was caught, but it was dropped and it was recovered by Jacksonville. But Atlanta are challenging it, they want it incomplete, but even then it's four yards. Like, I'm not sure why they're challenging this. They need to get some yards, they need to get down the field. Oh, Here we go, let's right. see what they can do. It's a short one, uh, no, he's not, he's not gonna get it. Oh, he's gonna try, he's got it, he's got it, wow. Where are they going to spot him? Because he did run out. It looks like he's going to get the first down here. The pick. Is it going all the way? It is. It's a pick six for the Jags. It's probably game over already. Pick six for Jacksonville. Well, this could be a battering. Extra point, of course. It's good. And it is. Wow. Fantastic for Jags. Four minutes to go to half time, and this game might be over. I mean, it's a pick six. It's brilliantly intercepting. I don't know who he's looking for on the line. Well, it's just intercepted, ran in, pick six. Is it game over? I think it is, you know. What is going on? First play after the Jags, yeah, pick six. And it's intercepted again. Unbelievable. I was going crazy. I wasn't filming it. I was going crazy. And then, the play they intercepted, I'm not sure who it was. Fell over, dropped the ball, and it thought that was going to be a football. Thought the Falcons were going to recover it, and it was just going to be drama. But no, Jags did it. 20 yard line. Oh, referee's talking. I think we're all right. I think it is an interception. This game is going to be all but over by half time. What are the Falcons doing? Third and two for the Jags on the 10. Oh, and that might Travis be short. ETM. ETM might be short here. Let's see where they're going to spot it. I think he's going to spot a short. Tackle by 53. Landry. It's going to be four and inches or four and one. For me, the Jags go for it here. Make, make them pay. Oh, and they're not going to get it. And the Falcons have managed to come up with a big stop, and that has probably saved the game. Falcons need to start moving and they're going to get close to a first on this one. We were just having a chat here. There's a minute and 20 minutes left, two timeouts. What do you do if you're the Falcons? Do you go and get three or do you try and get seven? I think you get three, you're opening the game on the second half, you get a touchdown on that first drive, it goes to 17 10, you're down by one score. Let's see what they can do. Fourth and two for the Falcons. They've got to get there. Oh, they're kicking it. I thought they were going to go for it. Well, that, that probably going to bring an end to the first half then. Bearcats. The only thing, we're all in shock. The only thing that I can think of that the Falcons didn't go for that is because literally they've been intercepted on the last two drives and they didn't want to get it happen again. Four for two, down 17-0. Jacksonville with all the momentum, with the home crowd, 
for me, you go for it. I think that's a bad call. Second bad call from the manager, including that terrible challenge. Well, there we go. That brings an end to the half as all the players descend back to the dressing room. It's been a really interesting half, and let's go over the analysis. Well, I'm going to do my half-time analysis after Tom Graham's performance. Won't be able to include most of it due to copyright, but let's try and enjoy the half-time. Okay, it's time for my half-time analysis and it's Jacksonville 17, Falcons nothing. Well, let's go over the Falcons. They have been poor in possession. Two interceptions in two plays and that allowed Jacksonville to just further on their score from their opening touchdown from a brilliant 30-yarder from Lawrence. I mean, it's a great game to watch, but the Falcons have been so negative with the ball and without the ball. The coach's challenge has been poor. The just the management at the end. Why not go for it on fourth and two? Like, they've got nothing to lose. They're in the midfield. No, they're just so negative. They're going to punt it back and they just haven't looked interested. And ultimately, the scoreline is so big. They do get the ball to start the second half. They're going to have to score an opening drive if they want any chance of coming back in this game. But so far, it's Jacksonville's game and they've deserved the start of the second half. And that's exactly what the Atlanta Falcons needed. They scored on the opening drive. Unfortunately, we were all having beers in the concourse. So I'm just going to say it was an amazing touchdown and they're back in the game. Where is this for the Falcons in the first half? They look a completely changed team and that's why I love this sport. They're getting first down, left, right and centre. They scored on opening drive. Can they score here and really get this game back? Everyone's making some noise here. This game is getting interesting. Big third down, third and 19 for the Falcons. Bit of space, but they're not going to get anywhere near it. It's not even going to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and eight for the Jags. Can they get any momentum on offense in the second half? Lawrence goes, caught, yes. that is... Well, we're going into the fourth quarter now, and it's going to be close. Let's see the Falcons come about the comeback. Turn the music off. But it's not going to stop this play. As the Jags get a first down and more. Stop it, the music. Third and five for the Jags. A touchdown here will win the game. Trevor Lawrence has been taking his players up the field quite brilliantly. Here he goes again. He's getting space. He's got to keep going. He's going end zone. Oh, and it's nearly. First of the field goal attempt is nice and through. It's 27 here. I mean, two touchdown wins it for the Falcons, but why didn't Trevor get that first down? I mean, you get that first down, you group up. As much as the attempt was brilliant to get it to the end zone and get a touchdown instantly, should have ran, got that first first down, and then probably. Here come the Falcons. They need a touchdown here. Big third and six here for the Falcons. What's Desmond really going to do here? Here he goes. Oh, that is tight. I think they've got it. Massive play here for the Falcons. The drive's been good. They're up to the 20. And that's a big, big tackle, and they got him. And someone may have lost the boot. No idea who it is, but... Second and 15 for the Falcons. Oh, and it's blocked. My man Desmond couldn't get it away. What does Desmond really do here? Does he throw it? Third and 15. I mean, it's a good drive for the Falcons, but it's just, they've lost a bit of momentum going into the red zone. This is it, four and three, game on the line. Here we go, the Falcons have got to get this. Ridder, running, end zone, caught, touchdown, Falcons! Incomplete, out of bounds. And Jags get the ball, and that might be the game, oh my God. Well, we just watched the replay, talk about five margins. One foot down, but it's got to be both, and it was on the white line, that's so unlucky for the Falcons. It was a good drive as well. Jags take over, that might be game over. I'm trying to put into his perspective that Atlanta can come back and potentially get a foothold in the game and can go on side kick. But if this field goal goes in, they need three touchdowns, and that's not going to happen, is it? Well, this will solidify the Jacksonville Jaguars win. And of course, it's straight through the sticks. It is good. And the score now 23 7.
Well, as Wembley begins to pile out, that is game over. I mean, 23-7, you don't come back from that. I mean, the Falcons have got a lot to learn from this game. A bit of negativity on offense, and ultimately those two interceptions and two players have severely cost them today. But it's great to see the Jags win. They are the London team. They are the British team. And it's always good to see them win. So very happy about that. And that's a fumble, and the Jaguars have recovered it. And that will be game over now. If anything is secured, it's the Jags that are going to win in London. Jags have won it now. <laughs> Atlanta have just been so poor on offense, except for that first drive in the second half. And they fumble, poor, picked up by the Jags. They'll take the knee and seal this win. And the knee is down and the game is won. The Jaguars win at Wembley Stadium and beat the Falcons by 23 to seven. After the disappointment of last year and last week, the Jaguars are back with a win. Full time as John drinks behind me, he's happy. It's a Jacksonville Jaguars win 23 7 against a disappointing Atlanta Falcons team. I mean, Falcons were beaten last week, destroyed, so were the Jags really. But today there was only one team in the contest, and one those two interceptions in two plays happened, it was game over. Brilliant for the first touchdown for Trevor Lawrence, two interceptions in two, one was a pick six, one was ultimately went in for a touchdown, and that was it, Jazz controlled the game, a couple of field goals in the second half, Falcons got themselves back in it on the first drive of the second half, but nothing to do really, they waved the white flag when they didn't really go for it, at the end of the first half, when they could have maybe gone for it on fourth and two, nah, didn't bother, that was it, they, they were kind of beat up from there, well, even though they got a touchdown on the first drive, but they, they really never got anything going going today, the Falcons. Disappointing day for them. Even though I'm a Dolphins fan, I still want to see Jacksonville win. They are like the British team, so very happy. Jacksonville win. That's how we do it. Trevor Lawrence, a Wembley win for him. He's very happy. So there we go. Jaguars win at Wembley Stadium. Is this seat worth $250 and is the whole experience worth about $350? Let me know in the comments. If you guys are heading to the NFL, let me know in the comments as well. It's an amazing experience. Make sure to put it on your bucket list if you haven't already. If you have enjoyed the video, smash a like, hit that big red subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out from Wembley. Wembley.